Hey guys, it's Jan, so welcome back. Um, so I wanted to do today my weekly favorites of what I had used in Paris. So it's mostly makeup, but this is the majority of my look that I used for the week. So you might say it was my favorite look of the week. Um, simple look. I mean, I didn't spend as much time primping in front of the mirror because we wanted to get out early because we wanted to do a lot. But let me just start now and show you what I found to be my favorite items during the week. I only have one food item because I couldn't bring back everything that we ate. Uh, I wish, right? So anyway, um, we know I used my Laura Mercier portfolio and it worked brilliantly. It really was, except when I got to customs because silly, silly me, as well as this was packed and it was efficient and had everything at my fingertips, I completely forgot to take out the fluids that were three ounces or less and put them in a plastic bag. Well, let me tell you, I'm glad to see that Francis Customs Security is really, really tight because they made me open everything up and take out every liquid and put everything in a plastic bag. And I was there a good 10 minutes while they went through everything, everything. This went through like three times and finally they took it out, they opened it up, they put it through again. And the guy said to me, because do you have any liquids in here? And I said, my contact solution, my, well, that was in my other bag, but my spray for my face and some lotions and some um what did I use toners and things like that and he looked at the girl and he goes this maquillage meaning makeup and the girl was like just take everything out then that was this makeup bag and then I had my regular little makeup bag that was in my speedy behind me and I had another little sample of some some sort of liquid but the fact is and the point of the story is because this is so efficient I never completely I completely forgot, rather, not never, but I completely forgot that I needed to take all my liquids out and put them separate in a bag. So by the time I went through customs and they went through everything I had, this whole thing was about as, a, it was like refilling it again and starting over. Everything was in those metal, the plastic bins that you put your shoes and your jewelry and your cell phones in. And I had to scoop everything up, just throw it in my, in my bag. And then when we got through to, you know, to sit down and, you know, put your jewelry on and people put the shoes on, whatever, I had all my makeup all over the place. So I completely, completely forgot. I was so frustrated. Put everything back in. This worked brilliantly. It is a favorite. Just as a side note, if you get this, Think before you go through customs thinking you're, you know, good to go through customs. It's not the case. They're going to want everything out liquid-wise in a plastic bag. And so my husband and I were really glad to see the security was great. But nonetheless, it took me about 10 minutes to put everything back where I had it. Um, and so it's still a favorite of mine, though. My mistake. Um, but anyway, so one of the things I loved in Paris that I loved on my face was this Urban Decay D Slick. I thought this was great. I didn't have to touch my face at all during the day, just my lipstick. This stuff is really, really good. Um, and I just bought a sample of it because I was in Sephora and I wanted the Do Me, and that left me too oily looking. And this is an oil control makeup setting spray, more for not oily skin, I don't think. I don't know. It just worked great for me. Loved it. So I love that. Um, one of the things I had in my bags that they checked. My Vaseline Total Moisture uh, Lotion. I just had this for my hands because everything gets dry on the plane. So I had this in my uh, bag and it just happens to work great. So I love this. Uh, two lipsticks that were weekly favorites and pretty similar in color. One is Velvet Teddy by MAC. I love it. I had it somewhere. I don't know what happened to it, but I do love this color. And I hope to find my relatively new one that's probably floating around in a bag. And this Kiko one that I bought towards the latter part of the trip. And I love this color too. So they were, this was quickly a favorite. Uh, my NARS Douceur, which I wore a lot of. I wore NARS Orgasm as well, I think maybe one or two days, but I kept going back to this with a bronzer. So I love this. This was a particular uh, favorite that I refell in love with this week. Um, I did a lot of eye looks with Chanel's taupe gris. I love this color. We'll always have this color because it just really happens to, you know, fit my skin tone well. So I love this. And I used it in conjunction with Illusoire, which we are all familiar with. And it was a very pretty, uh, pearlescent, smoky, taupey eye for me. And I have, I have dark eye, I have dark hair, but I have very light brown eyes. So it really looked pretty. Um, another thing that I've loved this week was my Laura Mercier. And I really, I never use a brush anymore. I just go on my cheeks very, very lightly down my nose. And I go along uh, the top there. And it just catches the sides of my lips. And I just, I love the way that looks. So I found a new way of using that. 
Uh, my Laura Mercier powder, I fell in love with again this week just because it gave me that flawless finish and I think it really just worked well with the um, D-Slick. So that was a nice flawless look I had. Um, I don't know what color of the Chanel sample that I have. I have two and I went with the darker one because I was tanning during the week. But it's uh, Vita, Lumiere, Vita Lumiere and it just is great. So I do want to purchase the big size of this. It just really worked nicely with the Laura Mercier. Um, and I don't think I used my MAC face and body but I did use this with my Laura Mercier and it was just a very pretty, very pretty look. Um, I didn't bring a moisturizer uh, that I normally use at home, so I used my samples of Genifique, and it worked well. I mean, I can't say that my skin reacted indifferently to it. I've used it before, and it was really worth saving all the samples, so it really came in handy. So that ended up, just for the ease of using a moisturizer, that turned out to be perfect. I did use my Ardell's. I know they're kind of like, you know, floating around in here. My 305s. I had them on for a couple of days and it just really gave that perfect look, these half lashes. So I really enjoyed that. Used them for the night we went to the Eiffel Tower. This I got more towards the end of the trip when I got the, um, no, I don't know if this was the end of the trip. It was the French Pharmacy Hall middle of the trip I guess but the homeoplasmin is great for dry skin it's it's been a secret well it, people may know about it but I know I've never seen anyone on YouTube talk about it but it's makeup artists usually have this in their kit back in the day when I had a kit and it's just really great for chapped lips it's good for dry skin around the nose really fantastic stuff so I use it for here on my hand when it gets really dry and it worked um, as good as I remember, so I'm really glad I got this again. So that's homeoplasmin, and it's very big in France. And this, when I went to the French pharmacy, I explained to the guy, I'm looking for the Bioderma, which I loved, and I, I used sparingly. But um, he was like, ah, he said something about French women, and um, we were talking about French women and how you know effortless they look and how beautiful their skin is. And I said, yes, well, you know, I always hope for passed down French secrets. And he says, well, I will tell you one thing that French women love, and I have it, and it's the nukes. It's the Nukes oil. He said French women love the Nukes oil. He said that's the one French woman secret I can tell you. I said I have it. I have that at home. But um, that's, that's what he said to me. So anyway, uh, two more items. The other eyeliner that I really love this week, I used my Black Track Fluid Line maybe once or twice, but I used this more. It was just quicker, just quicker. You just put it on and just go. Um, and I liked it. You know, two ninety nine. I'm still kind of in amazement with this one. Um, I'm glad I watched that video of um, Nuber. And um, I used this on my hair on the ends. Oscar Blandy's uh, hair serum. I did wash my hair down there. Uh, when I was in London, there was a salon on the corner, so I just walked in and they blew out my hair, and and it was good to go for Paris because I had it blown out before I left New York. Um, so I washed my hair basically twice that week. This time I did wash because there was no salon around me. Um, I didn't want to have to do the research of looking. I didn't want to go down to the hotel and ask where the nearest hair salon was. I could have found it on my own, but I think that day we were just in the room. It was just quicker to just do it myself. And my hair, because of the keratin treatment, came out and looked fabulous in... Um, in Paris where in the past when I've gone there my hair and the water didn't always react so well as it did this time and I, I really credit the keratin treatment um, it's just to me it's a lifesaver I don't flat iron anymore I blow it out it's it's just straight it's soft um, it's got shine to it this is just its own shine I don't add anything other than uh, occasionally a serum so just to be on the safe side when I was in Paris I did put this you know worked it in my hands and I put it on my ends and I just did this and then you know just kind of went through but more underneath my hair and around here where you know you can you need to get in with a hair dryer if you want it really super you know pin straight and this in conjunction with my keratin treatment worked fabulously and the shampoo I did use there was the Frederick Fakai which I loved I loved it and it had a great smell and it didn't, you know, just because I didn't have my Rejuvenol Keratin products, because uh, I got the Rejuvenol Keratin treatment, uh, just because I didn't have them really didn't mean anything. So next time I get the Keratin treatment, I don't necessarily have to buy those products. It's good for me anyway. Um, but anyway, so the Oscar Blandy was the other thing that I loved. And one more, and this was a food item. <laughs> That has to be a food item. And these are palmiers, but they're little ones. They're called palmitos. And these are just little, you can see on the box, they're just little um, puff pastry treats. And um, 
we brought this home for my daughter. She loves palmiers, and we had them in Paris as well uh, in our room. So, you know, needed something quick to nosh on. We just had a couple of these. We used the in room coffee maker. They had an espresso, which was nice. So it was nice to wake up in the morning and not have to, because I have to have coffee when I get my makeup on. So I had an espresso, and I had my laptop, and I had my makeup out, and, you know, it was good to go. And if I was, you know, hungry and I couldn't wait to get something when we went out, I had a couple of these. So anyway, that's it, guys. I wanted to just get this video out. Out. and um, that's it I hope you enjoy this and I'll see you soon and yeah leave any comments that you may have any questions and I'll talk to you soon bye guys